she's ready to go all the way this week. Wide open opportunity then. For our women's single stars here in France this week. Well, despite being teammates and similar in age, they've never actually met in competition, these two. Let's take a look at the result of this coin toss. Suizu wins the toss, the choice of ends. She'll start the match. Here it starts at the bottom of your screens. semi-finals coming through two rounds of qualifying pretty comfortably taking out the fourth seed the seventh seed iris wang from america that is a terrific performance 21 18 in the third for akechi but she spent an awful lot of time on court over the last couple of days 65 minutes in round two 71 minutes yesterday fatigue might just play a part from Manami Suizu taking out the second seed Lena Christofferson from Denmark 21-18 in the third yesterday in the quarterfinals not to mention Clara Azamendi and let's not forget to mention Rachel Dara as well in round one just 18 years of age Manami Suizu. Akichi, two years her senior at 20. That's Adeline Sargent from France, our chair umpire for this one. And Serge Robin, our service judge. So the respectful bows, Manami Suizu to the court officials. She's in black at the bottom of your screens getting this match underway. Deceptive drop shot takes the opening point from Akichi, the left hander. Is delightful. 
Well, both players showing their quality in the opening rallies. Ah! Beats him with that cross once again. Akichi, it seems, so far at least, cannot read that shot. Ranked 64th in the world, Suizu, and 120 for Heiner Akichi. Hence my comment earlier, both a surprise result for them to make it through to a semi-final. Biggest result, I think, for Suizu so far in her career is that quarter-final at last year's Korean Masters. She also made quarter-final at the Kaohsiung Masters last year, but Korea, arguably the bigger tournament. She's won one title at international challenge level. That's uh, in Mexico last year. where Suizu's dangerous. She's got that flat punch clear from round the head. But she can also hit that reverse, which has beaten Akichi a couple of times. Akichi has to be careful there. So easy taking more risks, Kichi just staying steady in the early stages. Oh, that's a nice touch. On the line, according to the line judge, a challenge from Suizu. We're going to need to refer to Hawkeye for this one. Just wide. Correction out. Service over, Oh, great pickup. 
And again, there's that cross smash from the round the head position. Akichi completely out fox. She's going the wrong way. Look at the power too, 293. Late call from the line judge. It did look out. Very last moment. Five, seven. Clever return of Sir from Akichi. Good rally. Oh, superb. Great placement in the end from Suizu. Didn't look in all that bad a position, Akichi. I think she could have played that. Misjudgment. 31 shots. Play. Magnificent straight smash winner finds the line. Eight, seven. Well, how about that for accuracy from Akichi? Nice punch clear, Suizu, but Akichi finds the answer. Nine, Able to neutralise. Oh, that's nice. What a shot. Deceptive hold. She's been given a bit too much time at the net. So easy shot quality, not quite there. And making Akichi look good. But still, that double action up the line was delightful. Same again. Gave her too much time at the net. And Akichi finds a winner. 11-7, Akichi with the advantage early in game one.
So Akichi restarts game one after the break. She's been the more composed so far. She does get beaten from the rear court. Deceptive, the overhead. From either corner, the forehand from Suizu. Well, it's a bit wild. She's got the ability. That big forehand, lots of options. But so far, it seems the only way she's able to beat Akichi needs to make it count. Yeah, that's clever. And really well placed. Watched all the way. <laughs> Erratic at times, Suizu. Composure of Akishi. The difference maker. Smash down the line. went for it, slightly off balance, slightly out of position. Another risk taken. Plus another point to her opponent. Seven point gap, Akichi just needs four for this opening game. So 
Both players looking quite relaxed all the while. Despite Sweezy's slightly erratic play sometimes. And there's another example. She doesn't seem to get all that phased. By the scoreline or these mistakes. Good smash. Kishi finds the winner, sets up game points. Well, she's got nine of them in the locker. Clever shot. Really good technique. Going over the top of Suizu, and that's the opening game. No way back for Suizu. 21-11, the game score. Yeah, it's perfect. Change of ends, game two, Akichi on serve. Convincing scoreline, but the rallies were 50-50 for the most part in the opening game. Threading one down the line with accuracy, Suizu coming out of the blocks strong. Oh, that's too good. The importance of taking the shuttle early. You can see Akichi having to take that shot almost on the floor. Suizu taking the shuttle close to the height of the net. Excellent shot. Well, 
Oh, she read that so easily. Good judgment from Akichi. Service over. Two, four. Hey. Oh, what a net shot. Short in stature. Three, four. And the left hander there early. Moving so fast on that long diagonal. Suizu squeezing too tightly. Half chances. Going for it. That's her style. Very much a risk taker. Good smash. It's finding that line. Came off the net, it popped up short. Suizu so can't take advantage. Service over. Six, five. She was there. She looking less so controlled on this end of the court. from Akichi though. Oh, it's wonderful. Best rally of the match so far. Look at the quality here. Until Akichi finds the net. crowd getting a bit more vocal in appreciation a shame to end the rally like that but a terrific fight from both
That is excellent. Akichi firing down that line, following up the smash. Seven, eight. And really putting pressure on Suizu. Excellent. Very much in the style of Akani Yamaguchi. Aina Akichi. Shot quality, speed of movement. Just 18 years old as well. Going wide. Well watched. Trying to attack a bit too early. She'd done all the hard work, Akichi. It's too good. What a cross block. So Terrific retrieval Seven, skills. Going wide. A very even contest in the second. But Akichi, a game to the good, and now she gets to enjoy the mid-game break. A couple of points ahead again. Something for Suizu to contemplate. Well, these first few points after the mid-game interval, so important. Especially when the trailing in the match. Well, I thought there'd be a challenge here. That looked like it might have crept long. Seven, 
I think Kichi and coach, from the looks they were giving each other just then, pretty confident about this one. And yes, so they should be. Correction out. Play. Lovely shot. Oh, it's too good. Fourteen nine. On occasion here, Suizu just neutralizing and playing drop shots. Not quite enough pace on them. Akichi's speed may mean she can get into the shuttle and take it early. And she's <laughs> twisting and turning so easy all over the court. 10, 14. Going wide again, so easy went for the line. So it's over. 15, 10. This semi final starting to slip away. Good shot, Sweezy, that punch clear, cross over. to the round the head corner. 11, 15. Akichi on the back foot. change of shuttle despite Akichi's request 15 12 Suizu trailing big point that is superb Akichi read it like a book and again that forehand neutralizer could be tighter to the net or could be played with a bit more pace to prevent Akichi having time to use her shot quality. It's landed in. What a time to leave the shuttle undecided. Of shot from Suizu sets up 30, the smash. 17. Yeah, it's a good return. <laughs> Wild again, Suizu. This is the line. This match slipping through her fingers now. Oh, 
Oh, it's wonderful. She was out of position to start with. A quick shift of feet. Gets under the shuttle. Threads one down the line, 300 plus kilometers per hour. Slipping away 20 match point, 30. with every point, seven match points for Haina Akichi. Six more chances for Akichi to close out this match, take her place in the women's singles final here. 15, 20. She has let two slip by. It's still match points, and I yeah. think she's found the line. Punch clear across. Yeah. Keeps it in court. Suizu's error of judgment. And Haina Akichi advances through to the final. A straight games match win over her teammate. 21-11, 21-15. Well, the scoreline suggests it was one-way traffic, really. Suizu was just a bit erratic today, took a few too many risks. And this woman, Akichi, threw in straight games. 21-11, 21-15 the score. minutes that semi-final next double semi-final in a few moments don't go anywhere
course, staying with us here, semi-finals action at the 2024 Orléon Masters. After that women's singles, we turn our attention now to a second mixed doubles of the day. The number seven seeds from Malaysia, Hu Pang Rong and Cheng Su Yin, taking on the Chinese Chen Xing and Zhang Xi. Merci